I have to say that I'm pretty excited about this whole video teaching mechanism that uh, we're able to do on the website. Just to think that last year at this time, I didn't even know how to do a PowerPoint. So, Ricky, thanks for dragging me into the year 2007 along with other techno geeks. I, this is really a lot of fun. The problem is I'm spending a lot of time doing this and not quilting. Well, you asked some really great questions over the first uh, course of the whole batting lessons, so I want to answer some of them. But first, let's start off with the details. Behind me is a quilt. It's not my design wall. And it was made for my <coughs> 50th birthday by my friend uh, Cheryl Uribe, well, and all my friends in the quilting community. What she did was she sent out a query to my professional buddies and they all sent me back blocks. And so I love this quilt. It hangs in my studio. That's the first thing that I see every single morning when I walk in. If you want to see a full picture of it, go to the blog archives to April 4th. That's where you'll see a picture of it. And then there was another question about another quilt, the one right over here. I'm doing this all backwards. Let's take a look at it. It's from my hand applique book. It's quite small, charming, and actually it's a good place to start if you want to learn about hand applique. So that answers the question about the two quilts behind me. Now one of you asked a question about embellishment, beading specifically. I have all my notes right here, okay? So forgive me when I look down. And it was what I use Hobbs 8020 or dream cotton if I were getting into embellishing quilts. You know what? I don't know. So for those of you that are watching this, please answer and let's help this gal out. After all, we all after all I can't talk. It's too early in the morning. My coffee didn't come out too good this morning. And anyways, we are a community and we need to help each other out. Now another person asked about quilting in a hoop versus a frame. As I mentioned, I learned in a frame and in fact I think it's a whole lot faster to work in a frame than a hoop because in a hoop you're always having to manage it and twist it around and fiddle faddle with it and get the tension just right. Although I will say if you're new to hand quilting you want to work in a hoop before you work in a frame. So here comes the obstacle. How do you quilt in all directions on a frame? Well, that's what I'm going to show you when we actually get down to the how-to with the hand quilting itself. I work with my pointer finger and I work with my thumb. Yes, I put a thimble on my thumb and that way I can quilt in all directions. In fact, I can finish a quilt that says 80 by 80 in about six weeks. Yeah, I'm fast. All right, somebody else asked, how about Mountain Mist for machine quilting? As you know, I love Mountain Mist, but for machine quilting, I prefer a cotton. I think the polyester might get a little wobbly. Now, if any of you disagree with me on this, I'd love to hear your comments on the blog because we are here to help each other learn. And then another person asked, what scrim? Now, there's a reason we don't know what scrim is because it's so complicated. It's not quilty terms. I called Hobbs Batting Company down in Waco, Texas, and this is what they say. I've got to read this. Scrim is a polypropylene which provides more stability, and basically it's punched through one, needle punched through one side of the bat to the other, so it's more stable. And the gal said it's actually really great for, say, long arming. So that's what scrim is, perhaps too much information. And last but not least, you wanted to know if my sewing room is always this neat. You have got to be kidding.